beautiful people of the internet. It's been a while since we've gotten into the murky depths, the gutter of drama on YouTubes. But this one's a little bit different. This is more like a uh, court drama, legal drama, like real life and YouTube drama. That's scary. So I thought this would be a really fun video to jump into because Olivia Jade just posted her first video back on YouTube. I can say the word video, I promise. <laughs> and I'm Wes. I'm Steph. And this is Wes and Steph. We're a reaction channel on YouTube and I thought we should react to this. It's significant and it's a little messy. We haven't gotten messy recently. We've been clean as a whistle. <laughs> so let's jump in. If you guys don't know who Olivia Jade is, she is Lori Laughlin's. He practiced saying I that. practice saying that a lot because I'm bad with L's and enunciation in general. She's Lori Laughlin's daughter. Who's Lori Laughlin? Uncle Becky from Full House. Aunt, Whoa. Aunt Becky. Oh, sorry. Uncle Becky. <laughs> Aunt Becky from Full House. Now, Wesley, Uncle, Aunt Becky, why is that significant? Well, guys, if you remember hearing about some crazy college admission scandal that went down like a year ago. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe. That included USC. Yeah. That also included Aunt Becky and Olivia Jade. Oh. So basically, that's Lori funny. is accused of allegedly... I'm only doing this for legal reasons, but allegedly, again, note the allegedly, yes. paying $500,000 in a bribe to get her kids into USC. Basically, they admissions, they paid somebody to lie to the admissions board, so they thought these girls were getting in for being rowers. Like, they got in on athletic, like, admissions, even though neither of them rode. So whatever. Basically, she's being accused of bribery. It's like on the federal level. It's really, really crazy. And that that court case is still going on. That's nuts. Like that's still a pending court case. And while this was all happening, like Olivia Jade has been, she was making YouTube videos before all this court case stuff broke. Huh. And she got pretty popular. She had like 1.8 million subscribers. Wow, that's actually That's a lot, really big. right? And also she's beautiful and looks just like her mom. Like it's kind of crazy how much they look alike. Just like Aunt Becky. She does. If you told me she was a clone and this was another like response video to like being a clone and another controversy came out you besides the bribery, I would believe it. <laughs> that being said, this is her first video back. All I know about it is that it's been getting a lot of controversy and a lot of heat around it. I know nothing except the context I just told you. Stephanie didn't even know who Olivia Jade was, so she doesn't know. That's so you're true. getting a complete blank canvas, blank slate reaction, except knowing the context. I've only ever seen Olivia in David's videos. That's it. I know nothing about her aside from Aunt Becky and USC bribery scandal. So let's see what she said and why people got so mad. I am down. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, Why does this feel thing. like- She's got the voice thing without, you said all YouTube girls have where their voices are slightly hoarse. Oh yeah, every YouTube girl has to be almost using losing their voice to film a video. I swear <laughs> that they just like scream in the bathroom for four hours before shooting anything. <laughs> but what I was gonna say though is, doesn't this feel like super awkward? Like when you haven't seen a friend for a while? No. And really, I feel like this is uncomfortable. No. Obviously I've been gone for she looks so time. uncomfortable. And as much as I wish I could talk about all of this, it's really hard for me to say this just because I know that it's something that needs to be addressed. It's just unfortunately, which is also why I didn't know exactly when I should come back to YouTube. Um, but the reason for that is just because I'm legally not allowed to speak on anything going on right now. Oh, wow. A I part of that. me is like, should Well, I that's, that's like standard practice. So yeah. anytime you have a pending, like, legal matter, your lawyers will tell you do not talk about it because yeah. you never know like what it's you could say. Because lawyers are the best. They bend things, they, they twist things. How old is she? Oh, well, she's college age, so I think she's like 19, 20. Okay. I come so. back to YouTube right now because I it's been so long and I actually really, really miss it. Like I genuinely miss filming. I feel like a huge part of me is just not the same because this is something that I'm really passionate about and something I really like to do. Uh, but I also didn't know I debated for like seven or eight months years, like well if I can't talk about it Is there a point in coming back I so. and not being able to say anything? I want to come back because I want to come back. There's no point in me just Talking for ten minutes to the camera about how I wish I could say something when I really can't so I'm gonna leave it at that Thank you so much for your patience or if you've stuck around for nine months just waiting I really appreciate it. 
this is the best I can do and I want to move on with my life and not trying to be in a selfish way. Ah, uh, it's so hard. This is, it's really uncomfortable, right? Because I don't think it's ever been officially announced or said how much involvement or knowledge she had about this whole scandal that was happening. That's true. What if she didn't know? If she didn't know anything, if not... she just thought she got in on a rowing scholarship. That would be the worst. Or maybe she didn't even read the mail and her mom's just like, you got in and it's all paid for or something. Yeah, that... I have no idea. I know she was getting a lot of hate because in a lot of... I, I think in her video and some of her tweets, she basically said like, yeah, I want to go to USC to party and, you know, just to find out who I am and stuff like that. Like, there was the perception that she was really undervaluing education. Uh, and that made people even more mad because they're like, well, girl, you're undervaluing education. You're taking somebody else's spot and your parents bribed and said you were a rower to get you into the school. So people were super mad at her. At the same time, I don't really feel like she was probably aware of the massive bribery scandal that was going on. So I'm I kind curious. of feel we'll bad out. for her a little bit. Because I'm not trying to like make this about me or like how I've been because it's not the point of this though I'm terrified to make this video and to come back I know that I also want to start taking smaller steps in the right direction for people that have been DMing and asking me moral of the story is I've missed you guys so much and I'm just really excited to start filming again and to start uploading it I really hope you enjoy the vlog thanks so let's go from the top right doesn't say anything that's she one can't. thing. She can't, but that doesn't matter. That's still gonna make people mad. Well, she wants to. She obviously just wants to film, and make she knows that she's gotta like create a splash in order to get back to that point. I don't think it's even like make a splash. I think it's more so like she just knows she has to put out something. If she put out something without addressing it, remember what happened people to Laura Lee? People would react just as much. Remember what happened to Laura yeah. Lee? It would be worse if she put out something not addressing it. People would have been like, more irate. Yeah. That's what happened to Laura Lee, and then she filmed the the. <laughs> I guess what do people want from her though? Do they want her to be like she can't talk about it? What are they asking for? They're I just think like, the, I want an apology. Yeah, I think that's Which, what it can't is. Can't she more. even give an apology? No, because that's an admission of guilt. She can't even do that. So what do people want? Well, at the same time though, you I feel like you're very sympathetic because she looks like Aunt Becky. That's really what's going on here. You're sympathetic because she looks like Aunt Becky. But you have to remember, like, she is involved in this massive bribery legal case. Like, I think it's more so that she doesn't seem Sorry, she she showed no regrets or anything except for how it's been affecting her. Yeah, that's why it makes people mad. But, I but get why she people can't are mad. Though, right? She can't. No, she can't. Like legally, she can't. Guilt. But she still put the video out there, so you can still take it and criticize it. And I would say, from what she said, it doesn't sound super repentant or super. Oh no. Upset or su like, uh, super w wishing that hadn't happened at all like I, I get the impression she wishes that it hadn't gone to, like her parents hadn't gotten in trouble obviously and this huge news story hadn't happened but the way that she told and talked it was even like oh man it's been really tough for me right that's why people are mad i bet a hundred percent but i'm also like okay first of all we don't know i mean maybe we do know tell let us know but down below if we're just missing some facts does she know like, do we know how much involvement she had, how much knowledge she had? But knew? you're missing the point. That doesn't matter. She can't apologize. We've already established that. She can't show any admission of guilt. And she wants to start filming again. And so she's like, here I am. Show me your hate because this is the only way we can move past it. I feel like that's what she was doing. And I respect her for even putting anything out. I think that's what she was doing too. But what I'm saying is though, that's not, I don't think that's what people take an issue with. Sure, there'd be some people that were upset at that. But there's some people that are upset at literally everything, right? Mm -hmm. I think the bigger problem is the manner in which she said it made it seem like. like if it you was about her. Think not about, about this. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, that anything happened. If you didn't know the situation and the context I had given you, it yeah. would have sounded like someone wronged her after you watched this video. Oh, like she had been yeah. Yeah, it robbed or she had been. Yeah. Something bad had happened to her, and that's why she had taken time off. But like we said. Well, I'm she saying can't no, but that. that's why. It's because of the tone. It's because it's like, oh. It, again, if you don't know the context, it sounds like something bad happened to her. Yeah. And, like, yeah, she might not have known about it, but she was implicated in bad stuff yeah. that her family did. Yes. That's why people are mad. Yeah. And I get that. I, and I think I, totally I think that was it. tone deaf because she could have done what you're saying without saying, like, oh, it's been rough for me and stuff like that. She could have just left that out. Yeah. 
No, I and I think that would have made people, like if she had just said, yeah, guys, I want to make video again. I'm back. I cannot talk about it. You're playing the victim card. Yeah, I think she's playing the, the victim card. When she's the perpetrator. When she's yeah. the, yeah. when she's perceived to be the perpetrator, whether she is or actually is or not. But she's definitely not the victim. Yeah. Like if you make a slight argument, like she might not have known about it. That sucks to be in her shoes, but. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know enough. Maybe she did know. Maybe she didn't know. That's you guys, not, that you guys will matter, let us know though. down below. I pro personally don't really have that big of a problem with the video because I'm like, well. I think it's emotionally manipulative. Like I said, once you remove context from it, I don't know that she did that on purpose though. Yeah. To I, be fair, like she's assuming people know context. Most people who watch the video know context. Yeah. But I do think it was emotionally manipulative and it had a lack of perspective to a degree or empathy because of how she talked about it yeah. on camera, the fact that it was edited and that she still released it. So anybody else that was applying to US, USC got really, up. it would be like, dude, you're potentially taking my spot. Or anybody who's applying to college, you'd be like, if somebody did that to me, I'd be really, really pissed off for them taking my spot. Yeah. I went to a state school where they didn't have limits on <laughs> anything. So you could get in with no matter what grade, you, any number of people were accepted. So for me, it's like, I don't really sympathize. I'm like, just go to a state school where they don't care. That's not what it's about, though. I know it's not. It's I'm not just, what it's about at all. It's it about isn't. people gaming a system and using their wealth and their privilege to take advantage of the system and give... The reason it really blew up wasn't just the bribery. It was because there was bribery and she's on camera talking about how she just wants to go to UFC to party. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. So it's someone, it's like a privilege. Someone who didn't even, like, oh, it's okay to bribe as long as you are there for the right reasons. No, that's not why. It's just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, though. I it's do. just like such a flagrant, like, taking of somebody else's spot who could have really wanted the education, appreciated it. I'm not going to be mad at her unless I know whether or not she even knew it was happening. I'm could, not mad at her. She could say that it was, she she was a victim if she didn't know about it. I'm and not mad. most people, I'm sure you'll say, no, what are the odds she didn't no, know about it? No, she's, she's not a victim still. Like, sure, it sucks, but she's not a victim. The person who lost their spot is a victim. I would say she's a victim of her parents if they did, if she didn't know. If I, she didn't know. Well, I still think, I think it sucks, but I still think, like, if someone kills somebody because they were mean to you, does that make you a victim? No. The person who got killed was a victim. Well, if your whole life was screwed up and your whole family life was screwed up and about something you had no control over and didn't know about, I'd say from that small context you are. I don't think she's a victim. I, I It was all predicated on the fact that does she even know this? Like, did she even know what was happening? No, I just, I still don't think she's a victim because someone did something illegal to help her out. I'd say she's also her. She's not a victim. She's a victim of her. She's parents negatively affected betrayal. by her parents' actions. Her parents didn't betray her. They could have. They didn't betray her. Her parents were doing illegal things to help her. She's not a victim. We can. Agree she has something. negative consequences of her parents' illegal actions. Thanks. There is a small chance she could be, and we can agree to disagree. No. I'm just gonna hold out to she's know. Still that she still not a victim. She, no, it doesn't. I know nothing about. She's this still situation. not a victim. It doesn't matter if she doesn't know anything. She's still not the victim. I think that you can be a victim of your parents' choices affecting you adversely in a very small context, not on a legal scale, but just on like a personal, emotional life scale. Yeah, there were. It sucks for her, but she's not the victim in this. And I'm not going to feel super sorry for her compared, like, th that's the problem. It's not a very what sympathetic position. What if your parents position. did that to you? What if you were really Stephanie, trying to get Stephanie, I can school? put myself in that situation, and it sucks for her, but she's still not the victim. I'm saying you're a victim of your parents' fraud because you didn't know what was happening. If she didn't know what was happening, <laughs> she probably knew. She's like, wow, how did I get in with 2.0 or something? Because <laughs> exactly. if, if she had the grades, why were her parents bribing in the first place? Yeah. That... That's unless she was very borderline, like on the edge. That's like true. maybe she was on wait list or something. I yeah. don't know. We don't know enough about it. But this thank is you guys very for watching. Give us your opinions situations. down below because it's a, this is I don't a messy situation. Because I, I know no one's gonna agree with me, but that's fine. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> to live to make your day better. <laughs> but we love you guys. Make sure you comment down below any other reactions you want us to do, anything like that. Subscribe. We do reactions every day. We love you guys. I thought this was a good debate. It was interesting. And I think ultimately we agree on 99% of this. I think I need to do more research. And we can agree to disagree on that last point. It's That's just a minor microcosm though. Yes. Over the overarching thing. But we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Bye. Are you going to say more? No. You seemed like you were. Okay.